Hi guys, I'm Shira Luna, a photographer, and welcome to my space. Come on in. So we are now in our living space, and as you're gonna see throughout the house, a lot of the things are thrifted or, or vintage. If you look around, everything is Nara. It's my favorite wood. So from the table, to the dresser, to the chairs, um, I really love um, repurposing things, such as this cabinet. We found it in a junk shop, like all rusty and everything, and then we painted it a nice yellow to give it that 70s vibe. This is a landing, and I'm not sure what to call it, but this is where I used to store all my clothes before we realized that I could make a closet, which you will see later on. But for now, this is where I keep a lot of my records on the side and I also keep a lot of my books and old magazines so over here I have fashion magazines, I have um, photography books, I have perfume books, um, I have lots of music related books and also older records down there and um, of course my favorite um, the Beatles um, wall and um, yeah that's pretty much it for this space um, I don't hang out here too often because it's hot so let me take you inside so, welcome to my closet. This is my favorite space in the entire house and it's it's really unexpected because this was just an empty area. It was the roof, under the roof area for around 15 or so years. I sleep here, I work here, I get inspired here, so everything has to be organized in such a way that um, I know where everything is. I can take you around some of the areas and I can explain, I guess, how I like to store my things. Here, I have a lot of my corduroys, um, my brown pants, leopard prints, um, my velvet pants, and then I have a section that's just all vintage Levi's jeans, specifically vintage. And then the middle part is just normal Levi's jeans <laughs> of the current collection. Um, I really love their ribcage jeans, the super high rise. And then down here, I just have vintage jeans um, that are Levi's. So I have lots of different brands there, like Gap. Um, um, it says I can't pronounce it, Chevignon. <laughs> Sorry, I can't pronounce French. And then in here are um, other vintage jeans that are wide leg. So all my bell bottoms and my flares are over here. Um, and then here are the faded jeans. So I have a lot of vintage Calvin Klein's. Um, just old Miss 60s jeans, just good old hard um, denim. Um, down here I have an assortment, I have some overalls, and then I have my colored jeans, I have my vintage um, pants, and um, down there are jeans for guys because sometimes I have to dress guys so I do keep um, a couple of different sizes down here, but everything I keep in here I can wear. That's so organized. Oh, and my white pants are up there. And um, the bags that I have to be a little bit careful with are also up there. And it's good that the dust bags are cream because they match the pants. I have another shelf here. By the way, these shelves are just bookcases. And I think they really work well for me because I like seeing what I have. That way I get to wear everything. But most of these are vintage. Um, I don't really have a lot of current designer bags. So I have a couple but these are the ones that I use all the time. I have a little Jane Birkin moment here. She is one of my favorite um, pop culture, I guess, icons. I even have um, the Birkin basket tattooed on my arm. I'll show you later. It's covered by my jumpsuit but I have her basket tattooed on my arm. If I had to pick two closet staples, um, it would be a blazer and probably boots. So here are all my blazers. I tend to wear blazers to work um, just so I look cool together um, and then underneath I'm wearing something like, I don't know, more fun. But this just, I feel like, um, makes me think like I'm working. I, I usually use blazers when I'm in the studio. Um, and then here are, are my vintage denim jackets. Um, some are from the 90s that were worn by my brother and my mom, so I have them all here. Um, more blazers, men's blazers, retro blazers. Oh, this is this is a nice one. I love this. It's from the 80s, I think. Very nice. I also use just one type of hanger because I like seeing everything straight. So sometimes when I'm not doing anything, I just 
sort of move them along like this to make sure <laughs> like they're, they can breathe. I know they look like they can't breathe right now, but I try to move them around and I do try to wear all my clothes. So that's why they're all out in the open. I'm picking out my outfit and since I'm having a hard time, <laughs> maybe we can do a quick fire question first. <laughs> do I have to answer that? Um, um, well, I guess digital because I feel like I need to take many pictures all the time and I want to see them as quickly as possible, so maybe digital. Unfair question though. Um, obviously. <laughs> I think styling in advance. Um, no wait, styling on the spot. No, styling on the spot. I think that's more fun and challenging, um, but since you know, you guys are all here. I'm feeling a lot of pressure to, you know, come up with good outfits. But a lot of my shoots are actually inspired by um, outfits I imagine, so I, I think styling in advance um, works for me. I don't know, honestly. Um, uh, yeah, let's see how this ends. Back to the outfits. <laughs> This is something I would most likely wear to a normal shoot in a studio. Um, sometimes it gets chilly, so I like to have, you know, something to cover. And also, I feel like a blazer makes me look like I know what I'm doing. So we go with a blazer. Um, kidding aside, this was actually just 25 pesos. I found it um, in a thrift shop just near our place. Very versatile. It has big pockets, and I wore it with um, these corduroy pants. And the reason why I picked these um, is because of the shoes zebra print with red detail and then to break things up because I'm very kind of matchy-matchy I have on a Playboy shirt and I found this on eBay and the bag is also vintage I also found this on eBay the glasses are from Sony's these questions are just so unfair <laughs> um, I like both obviously because you wouldn't have asked that if you knew I could choose um, I'd say 70s just because I feel like the pieces are more wearable for my day-to-day -day work But both are just the best euros in fashion for me Hi! Ukai all the way And then DIY your ukai <laughs> This next outfit I'm wearing is something I would also wear to a shoot um, I really like being able to wear whatever I want during shoots. I feel like you're around enough creative people that you won't be judged so much. This is a 1960s jumpsuit. It looks like a dress, but it actually has really wide belts with ruffles. Um, so I really love that. I found it on eBay in the States and I paired it with this bag. This is actually by my friend Callie and it's a label called Cal the Brand. I have quite a lot of art on my arms and I feel like sometimes it clashes with my outfits so that's why I tend to wear turtlenecks and long sleeves and I feel like this underneath kind of brings the whole look together and this was only 35 pesos from the Ukai. It's a vintage top and I'm also wearing vintage platforms. These are very 90s Steve Madden wooden platforms. They're a pain in the butt to wear out, but if I were shooting, I'd probably wear sneakers. Um, but for this look, um, I think it goes very well. Platforms! I, I, I was scared you were going to ask heels because I would have said flats, but platforms are the way to go. Platforms are the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> Guys, they're going to sue me if I answer the other thing, so pro mill! <laughs> And also, like, if you like it, tastes good. This outfit makes me feel like I'm a kid in a coming of age movie <laughs> in the seven, set in the 70s. Um, this is a shirt from an independent label in the States called Big Bud Press, and I am in love with this print. It's super retro, it reminds me of um, the shows I used to watch as a kid. I love these fonts and the color, and then I paired it with a pair of corduroy pants. I think I have a collection of corduroy pants. Where would I be without my chucks? These are chuck 70s, and again, it's in a color that I really like, very sunny and warm. And then I'm one of those people who wears glasses without the lenses. <laughs> so if you don't like those people, I'm sorry, but I really like how these look. I found them in Bunkal, and then they were prescription glasses, so I just took out the lens. 
snakeskin. Um, I just feel like it's more classic, I guess. I think Dark Shadows. You know, um, I think seven Halloweens ago, my brother and I dressed up as the characters from Dark Shadows. We can insert a picture here. Ding! <laughs> so that entire costume was made out of um, ukai and DIY things, and I'm really proud of that, and we never outdid that photo. Dark Shadows. This outfit, I don't actually know where I'm gonna wear this to. Um, it's pretty hot, but I found this in a Japan surplus in Bangkal. It's a set. Um, so we have this gorgeous jacket with these amazing oversized shoulder pads, and then shorts. Um, they're around my size, I just needed to belt it, but it's basically perfect. It's the perfect length also. Uh, and then I found this in a Japan surplus for 50 pesos only. It's a great clutch, um, and I think it goes with this outfit because of the silver hardware. I also have a silver lariat, I believe it's called, that I found on Etsy. And then, um, the moment of the outfit are these boots. They have 90 supermodels on them, I just think that this iconic. And then these shades are, once again, from Sunny Studios. I think they make really great, affordable retro sunglasses. Not paid for this, I just like how they look. And yeah, I need to think of where to wear this. Probably a St. Vincent concert or something. But I don't know, I'm, I'm keeping it in my image bag for now. On location, but indoors. That makes sense. It was a lot of fun, but I think I'm gonna go thrift now. Feel free to come back anytime though. See you soon. Thanks, Wonder.